Hi, this is Jesse Liberty from Microsoft. Today we're going to take a quick look at the support for the mouse wheel that began with Silverlight 4. Here I have a data grid and I can scroll that data grid down and then I can use the mouse wheel in the opposite direction, scroll it back up. I'll move over to my list box, same thing. And here I've drawn an ellipse and I'm using the scroll wheel to grow and shrink the ellipse. So how do you build this? Well, it turns out to be a fairly simple exercise. Let's return to Visual Studio, close the Explorer and Properties window and Toolbox, and give the designer full screen. And you see we have a data grid, and then in the second column, a list box, and below that, an ellipse. The code behind is where all the action happens. So let's open up main page XAML.cs and what you'll notice is that we have no supporting code for mouse wheel support for the list box or for the data grid. All we're doing is setting the item source on those to a person class, a simple class to give us the data. The support for scrolling is built into those controls. We do however on the ellipse want to capture the mouse wheel event handler. That code we have to write because what we're going to do with an ellipse is always going to be different each time. So let's take a quick look at that. What we do is we start off by getting the current height and width and holding that in a local variable. We then capture the change from the mouse wheel event args which is called the delta put that into a local variable and then we're going to modify that height and width and assign that back to the ellipse's height and width if that comes out to less than 25 we set that minimum value otherwise we set it to the computed change let's run that and once again the list box and the data grid work automatically you do have to click in them when you click in the ellipse you can scroll and the event is fired and our code responds to that event. This is Jesse Liberty from Microsoft. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to talking with you again very soon.